This is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV, and this morning we have with us Carolyn. I'm sorry, Carolyn. What was your last name? Coleridge. Coleridge. And um, well, first of all, tell us how you happen to get involved with shamanism. Uh, so I've been a therapist for 23 years, and I started having spiritual experiences years ago, like when I was studying at Columbia, and I started to see ghosts and have visions, and they would constantly wake me up. So I got into spiritualism, um, going to a spiritualist church. I had to learn how to protect myself from the ghosts and the, um, all the different, uh, ascended, I saw an ascended master, which I didn't know what it was that came in. Um, and as I started exploring, um, I realized there were certain <laughs> techniques. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> techniques I need to do, including um, saging uh, myself or smudging, which we call mental health saging. And I started to get more involved with it because um, I, I had a lot of dreams. I, I would go to, you know, sweat lodges and different places. And then I would see a um, panther that would come and kind of stalk me. Very friendly panther, which I realized was my spirit guide. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got more and more into it. And, I, I, and um, in mental health, where I work, I talk a lot about totem animals because people like that I talk about working with the universe and finding your purpose and your path and a lot of the totem animals will come through um, outside like just the other day I was teaching a class and um, I was talking about looking to the signs of the messages and they can come in music or dreams or animals and then a huge raven this was just two days ago landed on outside my window in my office and it um, was just of, you know, flapping its wings. And everyone was like, oh my gosh, it was crazy. People <laughs> roared because it was exactly what I was talking about. And we were talking about removing the ego and going into spirit. We were talking about listening to um, the other side and messages and synchronicities. And when everyone looked up a totem animal rave and it was about synchronicities. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> I know it was so cool. And I was like, there, that's exactly what I'm trying to teach you guys. And there it is. There right? it is. Yeah. Like mm -hmm demonstration like you set it up <laughs> yeah i told them i did not pay this uh, raven to show up <laughs> that was in my private office and the same thing happened when i was in um uh just about a week ago there's something connection with maybe because of spring i was asking um people to ask you know ask the universe this woman said it's so weird i just saw a uh, hummingbird and she goes I, I always think of a grandmother with a hummingbird and as she was saying that in the office in the clinic a hummingbird flew behind her. It was outside the window and was starting to flutter. We were like, oh my God, there were 18 people in the class. They roared again. <laughs> um, and then the hummingbird left and then it came back because she said, I wasn't sure that's real. And then it came back and it was right behind her head. It was real. <laughs> and a squirrel came and there was somebody looking to save their money. And, sh and then she was saying that, um, it's also squirrels was very playful, it's flipping around. It was about listening to your ha the fun side in your life and actually storing up. Then we were doing, I did um, energy healing within the group room, you know, calling in the directions and doing stuff like that. And I, I opened them up to spirit in, in different ways. Uh, and then what happened is we saw these lizards. They're like, look, there's lizards, there's like five of them. And lizards is about um, removing the ego and going into spirit. So oh my God, that the I, lizards, where did they come from? We don't know. We were all like surprised. Like they just came out of the ground and one was like sunning there and another one was like climbing on a, a branch in a tree. And this isn't, um, this isn't uh, Los Angeles, but there oh is a God. park behind us. I know. And it was so cool and everyone could see it. And, and people just think, oh, she's talking. I was like, well, there it is. Like I'm working with nature and they can too. And every single person had something connected to what we saw then so it was really beautiful wow that is amazing it's great and, uh, yeah. your agency doesn't get upset about what you're doing well i know it's weird because um uh one of my clients said oh you know i was telling uh because i work our clinic works with a um a medical center a big medical center she was, uh -huh. I was telling my doctor about um you know this therapist uh smudging me and she <laughs> She's like, what? Rubbing you? What? That's not appropriate. She's like, no, no, no. Using sage. And she's like, oh, saging you. She goes, oh, that's cool. I've been to West Sweat Lodges years ago. But when they started telling other people, I was like, wow, no one said anything yet. Huh. And, um, I, you know, I'm a mindfulness teacher there. So that's how I open up to spirit. And I can justify um, 
you know, working with what is, people go to India, you know, for enlightening, and that's where mindfulness comes from. I said, what is spirit? And then I open it up to that part. And then I say, I want to include everyone. So let's do Native American today. Let's do, you know, what's a, a Qigong or Tai Chi or a uh-huh. Reiki. So, yeah. Well, so this stuff is really going mainstream now. I really believe it is, because this is a huge HMO in LA, and um, um, I work, I have about five groups I, I work with, and every group, like today, I'll be teaching mindfulness at about, you know, a couple hours, and I talk about um, sage, I usually bring it, I bring a bowl, and I bring sage, and a lot of people have native blood, and they talk about their own, you know, family history, and the different tribes talk about, you know, like, Oh, she goes, you bring me back to my childhood or to my grandmother. And, you know, we talk about um, honoring nature. And I bring a lot of videos on the, the strength and the, uh, of trees, you know. And there's a great video, um, how trees, how forest heals people. People loved it. Trees. And, yeah, and I talk about how the Ellen trees, yeah. And there's, uh, and then people, I, guys have said things like, you're drained and you're burned out, you're dead tired and you're exhausted, right? They're like, of course, we say that when we're, you know, stressed. And I said, well, you're working with the elements. So drained is water, you know, burnout means you need, uh, you need fire, you know, uh, exhaust is air, and dead tired is earth. So I see, see how the earth is constantly talking to us to help revitalize and renew us. And the people are really resonate with it because normal words, your spirit wow. gave me these. Yeah. This so cool. <laughs> I would love to have that recording about the trees. I really have affinity for trees. Oh, it's great. It's on YouTube. It's, um, I think it's, it's called How the Forest Heals People. How the Forest, How the heals. forest heals People. Okay. I think that's, it. yeah, and it's beautiful. It's, they have all, and we have this huge screen there, and you can see the majesty of the trees, and people are just like, oh, and before my class, um, part of the protocol, the intensive outpatient, is to walk. So they walk outside in nature, anyways. Well, uh-huh. you know, to, uh, um, a track. So then to see the trees and to uh, justify, you know, to kind of substantiate what they're seeing is wonderful. But yeah, trees are very ancient wisdom. And I because t- we also do grounding exercises. I'm using uh-huh. some mindfulness techniques and ground into the earth, and then connect to, you know, the heavens, the stars, and then. Uh, put energy around them for there's a great treatment for anxiety you know yes right i used to be a therapist too i'm retired now that was one of the main ones if people were depressed or anxious i would tell them to go out and depending on how bad it was if it was really bad just lay face down on the earth and lay there until you feel better the earth will heal you wow and it works so true Absolutely. Yeah, I heard about that when I was reading um, a book about a woman who went to the Aborigines in Australia, how they buried her in the earth. What was it called? So, a mutant oh, message down under. Yes. And I read that. that book? Oh, I've read that about six times. Every time I see it in a secondhand store, I buy another copy. <laughs> Me too. Same thing. I've read it like three times. I keep losing copies. I don't know where they go. It goes down under. So I give they, them to people so I know where mine go. Yeah. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think I can too. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Well, you know, I can you tell us where people can get a hold of you if they want to? Oh, sure. My website is intuitivesoulhealing.com. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm on, I have a great group on Facebook called How to Work with the Universe. Just ask to join. And I talk about totem animals. And I talk about synchronicity and how the planet's talking to us. Um, and then um, I have a, another uh, page, Honor Your Spirit, because that was my first book, Honor Your Spirit. And that's the energy that's, you know, of course, inside of us. And people really like that. So that's another one. But how to work with the universe. And then my website in L.A. Yeah. Okay. okay. But it's very exciting to open people. To the, yeah. And it's very you, exciting to open people to the earth. And did you join our website, travelingshamans.com? I think I am in there. I'll have to okay. double check. All yeah, right. Absolutely. So, Is that up? Oh, that's on Facebook or? No, that's a website. Traveling okay. in that way, I can 
find you and other people can find you there too. Okay, yes. And this, uh, I'm so excited this week, I'm going to Sedona, my um, annual pil pilgrimage. Let me close my to window. Sedona? Yeah. To I'm a specific do a lot of group or something? You're going to a specific retreat um, or something? I think I am. No, well, I am going to like Cosmic Awakening Cosmic, uh, Conference, one of my uh, students on the Thursday. So I usually do a pilgrimage to um, um, Cathedral Rock or Bell Rock and just kind of like, you know, lay my burdens there, take the energy from the earth and kind of connect. And yeah. um, that's where I get my charge messages. And I get a lot of downloads about books. So, um, yeah, I really, I go just for a week just to be in synchronicity and to be in nature. Oh yeah, tell us about your books. Yeah. Okay, so a book I wrote about a year ago is about my spiritual path, opening up to spirit. Uh, it's called Honor Your Spirit, and um, it's on Amazon. And basically it's about um, how I, as a therapist, traditionally trained, started to incorporate spirituality into mental health, you know, and also my experiences, how I opened up to spirit, how I felt these because um, I am considered an empath, you know, a sensitive soul, which a lot of people talk about. And I feel energies and I feel um, energies off of people. And I was working as a therapist, I got really drained. And I didn't know mm -hmm. why I was getting drained, but I was giving so much from my heart. So as I started doing research, um, I realized that, um, you know, the aura, the energy fields affects people. So I started to take classes on spirituality and spiritualism because I saw a lot of uh, deceased uh, afterlife therapy I'm like why are they coming to me in the middle of the night to talk um, another thing was happened was weird is when I opened up spiritually I would feel these weights on me or have this um, when people have uh, sleep paralysis uh -huh. and I would just couldn't move and all this weird stuff and I feel these hands I would say don't wake up and one of my teachers like, do you know how to protect your energy field? I said, what do you mean? And she's like, you have to protect your light. And um, she goes, because other discarded energies are, are there. So as she told me to surround myself with the archangels, you know, honoring the directions, what happened is that those energies went away because I was, uh, you know, connecting more to the light of the universe and what I wanted to work with and protecting my field. So I learned about that more and more. Um, and then regularly staging myself, smudging, regularly uh, clearing energy. But my, and my book talks about my path to open up and then to slowly ask the universe, ask spirit, you know, should I incorporate this in mental health? <laughs> because as I'm sick with clients, I would see their auras and I'm like, maybe I should tell them. And I would start like, giving little messages um, as their guides directed me. And then uh, people are like, oh my God, no one's ever talked to me about that. That was a big wound. So it ex accelerated therapy. It helped them to connect to their own inner spirit because we're all our spirits. And as I do that, I help them to self heal. You know, it opens up their light. So I talk about that in my book. I give examples about using um, essential oils, which are really powerful about uh, meditating, about understanding why you're here, why your purpose, how to find your purpose. So, um, and um, I have a workbook that connects with that because my uh, work has been working with the universe and listening to the universal wisdom. Um, so I have a workbook called How to Work with the Universe and that's where people ask for totem animals and really just ask the universe to speak with them and there the animals start showing up. Yeah. Okay, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> Facing <laughs> everything. Okay, well, yeah, check her out on Facebook, How to Work with the Universe, and at uh, TravelingShamans.com, and at her website, Heal Your Soul, no. Oh, intuitive Soul Healing. Intuitive Soul Healing. <laughs> Thanks for being on our show this morning, Carolyn. Oh, thank you so much. I and we hope having... to have you again sometime. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much for having me. Have a great day.